Hello everyone, this is Reza from Red Acad and today I'm going to show you how to use two functions in DAX, calendar and calendar auto, to create a date table very simply in DAX. Let's check it out. Um, I have previously created uh, videos, multiple videos, talking about how to create a date dimension in Power Query and what would be benefits of doing that, like how you can add calendar columns, how you can add fiscal columns, and how you can add public holidays to that. So if you uh, would like to know that, uh, check out that method, and that's still my preferred method. But sometimes you need to create a date uh, table, a calendar table, very quickly, and um, there is uh, there are actually two functions in DAX which are really helpful for that. Uh, one of them is called calendar, the other one is called calendar auto. So I'm going to show you in this model how to create it. And uh, this model, very similar to my other models, is coming from AdventureWorks uh, Excel file, which you can download it from the links of my blog article down below in the description. Uh, this model already has a date table, but I'm going to create uh, one just to show you how it is working, right? The first um, example I'm going to show you, I'm going to create a new table. Uh, and I'm going to use the calendar function. Uh, if you don't know, this is, uh, you can actually make this text box bigger or smaller with holding control key and using your mouse wheel or even plus and minus. So let's say I call this table calendar uh, and there's a function very simple to use called calendar. Uh, calendar function uh, asks for a start date and end date, very simple function to use. And usually the way that you specify dates are like this. Um, I use shift enter to go to the next line, but you can continue on the same line. Uh, uh, so I use shift enter and I put the date like this. Uh, there is another function called date that you specify year, month and day. Let's say I want this to start from uh, 2000. 18 1st of January and let's say I want this to be finished at 2020 uh, 1231 right and that's it this will basically create a table with all dates in it as you see this is a table with all of the dates in it and uh, now you might ask why you need a date dimension and why you should create that because Power BI already creates a date dimension. I have uh, written articles about all of these. Is date dimension important? Should you create one? Should you choose uh, your own date dimension or you should use the date dimension that Power BI automatically creates? Um, all of these, I have written blog articles about that. Check the links down in the articles below. So this is calendar table. Uh, this is a calendar function. It asks for a start date and end date, and it basically creates a date dimension uh, with one date at each row for that, which you can use it then to connect and relay, create relationship to all other tables. Now, usually when you create this, um, you go ahead and find what is the minimum date uh, in your date columns and what is the maximum and you create from minimum to maximum because you want to cover the whole range, right? That's usually what you do. Now, uh, that's another function in DAX rather than just doing it yourself, rather than finding what is the minimum value, what is the maximum value, creating it from minimum to maximum, you can actually use another function called calendar auto. And I'm calling this table calendar auto. The table can be called, of course, anything. Uh, the function name is calendar auto. Now, calendar auto has uh, an input which is optional. Any input that you see in DAX uh, with uh, these um, square bracket, that means it's optional. So if I just use calendar auto without any parameter because that was optional, um, it creates a list of dates from the minimum date that I have in my tables, in all tables, in all columns. And you can see this starts from, in this case, uh, I have to click on calendar O2 to show you the value. Oh, I think I created a measure, so sorry about that. Um, I remove this as a measure and I create that as a table. So these has to be table because they are creating a table output. Uh, so this will create uh, one row per uh, day from the minimum date that you have in your data model, not in one table. Across all tables, the minimum date that it can find, it will start from the 1st of January of that date 
all the way to the maximum date that it can find and end of the year of that day. So this means that in my data set, I have records with dates back in 1910. And that's probably because of the uh, customer table that has a birth date column in it. That's why it is so far back. And then all the way to 2010, uh, end of December. This will create full years. Calendar Auto will create full years from the start of the year to end of the year. Now, you might want this to act for a financial year. In that case, you put your financial month start here. Let's say, for example, in, um, in one scenario, financial month starts is at April. So I put four, which is indicating the April. Then this will always start from, um, sorry, uh, I put end here, as you can see, it also explains it here, end. So if April is a start, I put three. So that means March, it will finish. This would be a starting from 1st of April, going all the way to uh, 31st of March. And if I change this to be six, means that my fiscal year starts from 1st of July, as you can see, all the way to um, end of June. So that's it. These two are functions, very useful, uh, very quickly. They give you a date table with one column. You can then add other columns to that with uh, calculated columns. Uh, still, my preference would be creating date dimension in Power Query because that will give you much more comprehensive date table. You can do that here as well, but then you have to do a lot of steps uh, like writing codes and things like that. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.